2008 Sexiest Man Alive lives up to the hype in this period romance from Down Under. Hugh Jackman is buffed and shirtless a good part of the time. But Australia will likely do more for the moms of teens than teens themselves. This is a sweeping World War II epic that touches on mature issues of race, class and greed. The chemistry between Jackman and Nicole Kidman is undeniable, which means the sex scenes, though not explicit, are quite steamy. One lovemaking scene shows bare shoulders, a bare back, and the legs and underwear of Kidman. The story is as grand as the Northern Territory itself. Kidman plays Sarah, an English aristocrat left widowed and in charge of a sprawling ranch in Australia. Sarah has no idea how to manage the property and enlists the help of Drover, a rogue drifter played by Jackman. Together they beat back a corrupt cattleman and take in an orphan. His name is Nulla and his fate lies with authorities who intend to strip him of his culture and turn him into a servant for white people. Help me! He's my child! I understand what you're saying. Please. You don't have no. an essential job. No. You must evacuate Please on this boat. Don't let them take me away. I will come and find you. Whatever happens, whatever it takes, we'll be together again. I promise. I believe you, Mrs. Boss. Come along, child. Quickly, quickly. Mrs. Boss. I see you, Tommy. You be brave. Nala! Come along, child. Quickly, quickly. <laughs> I'm Nala, it'll be all right. I will find you. There is violence and some of it is quite bloody. Victims are speared, thrown into crocodile infested waters, drowned and trampled. There's sex and a disturbing scene implying sex on demand. On the positive side, a woman who was presumed incompetent proves herself strong, smart, and courageous. A couple confronts racism with confidence. Young teens should steer clear of this movie. Emotionally, some of what happens to innocent children can be very upsetting. But mature teens might learn a thing or two about Australia's role in World War II and how the country treated its native citizens. Common Sense recommends Australia for all teens age 14 and up. For more movie, television, and video game reviews, visit us at commonsense.com. I'm Kimio Nanaka.